Welcome back to our series on Linux command line tools. Today, we're going to learn about the rsync command, which stands for remote sync. rsync is a powerful command that allows you to efficiently copy and synchronize files in directories between different locations. We often use rsync to make backups between two servers or between two local directory locations. rsync uses a unique algorithm that only transfers the differences between the source and destination files, making it much faster than traditional file copying methods. It also allows you to perform incremental backups, only transferring files that have been changed since the last backup. Let's start with a basic composition of the rsync command. Let's look at the syntax and example as follows. First, you have to type rsync and then options for the command. There are lots of option that comes with the rsync command like a, v, h, z etc. Let me elaborate in a while about its functions. Before that focus on the syntax. So, after the options, you have to mention the source directory and then the target or destination directory. In case of a remote location, you have to mention the IP address, username of the server and then the location. So this is a basic structure and syntax of rsync command. Let's drive into option details. So from this example, flag A stands for archive. The dash of flag tells rsync to preserve file permissions and timestamps. Archive mode includes all the necessary options like copying files recursively and preserving almost everything, like symbolic links, file permissions, user and group ownership and timestamps. Flag V stands for verbose. By default, rsync works silently. A single V will give us information about what files are being transferred and a brief summary about the data transferred at the end. Flag H stands for human readable, all outputs like file size and statistics in a human readable format. Unlike megabyte, gigabyte etc. not in big and long listing kilobyte or byte format. And flag Z stand for compression, which compresses file data during the transfer. That will make faster data transmission. Let's dive into some examples of the rsync command. So, here we have some files in my home directory. So, first, we are going to copy a single file locally. In order to do that I am gonna create a directory in my document directory with the name of rsync directory. Now open up a terminal aside and let me place these two windows side by side. Okay, now going to check the directory listing in my terminal with ls command and here you can see the files directory which I want to operate with. And want to move into my documents directory. So, let's move into the files directory. And also in the file browser, you can see the files. Now, type in terminal r sync and then dash v then source and then the destination. Here I selected only one file which is example.txt and move it to the r sync directory. Here I use a forward slash because the directory name has space itself. Okay. After execution let's check in directory. Cool, it's copied successfully. For now I am deleting this file. Now I want to copy multiple files locally. So, you need to specify each file individually in source section and then execute the command. Here you can see the file has been transferred. 
So, for now, I am deleting all files in the destination for the next example. So, now I want to copy a directory and all subdirectories locally. In order to do that follow the command line. Here we need to add dash a flag with the rsync command. Then source and then destination. Boom it starts copying the entire directory with all its files in its states like permission ownership etc. One noticeable thing is there is no progress indicator for such a large copying process. We will add progress statistics in the next example. Another noticeable thing is file statistics is shown in a large byte format that is quite unfamiliar to the human being. So, we also find solution for it in next example. Now we are going to copy a file or directory from local to remote machine. So, we have a remote server running in my network, and its IP address is 10.0.50.11. So, I am gonna connect it with SSH in my file browser for live preview. Type IP address and credential and connect. and I want to copy my file into the home directory. Now execute the following command. Here you can notice that I had used another two flags that is H and Z here H means transferred data statistics will be in a human readable format and Z will compress data for faster transfer over the network. Here you can see the file transferred successfully to my remote server. Let's copy some large directories to my remote server. So, repeat this command again and this time source is my geolocation directory and I am going to add dash dash progress flag with the command. There might be some connection issues. Let's try again. Putting my server password and boom. This time you notice that each file showing with progress and human readable file size. So in this way, you can create a bash script and set a corn job with the rsync command to make a backup of your important directory with a specific time interval. For more go through our article in the description section below. Another great feature of rsync is the ability to perform incremental backups. This means that only the files that have been changed since the last backup are transferred. This can save a lot of time and bandwidth when backing up large amounts of data. rsync is a powerful and versatile command that can be used in a wide variety of situations. Whether you're synchronizing files between different locations or performing incremental backups, rsync is sure to make your life easier. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we dive deeper into the world of Linux command line tools. Techblog is sign off now.